Howdy Fernie farmers, get ready to settle up for a thrilling day here at the farm. We're putting the finishing touches on this contract and then we'll take a look at our wheat reserves to make sure the chickens stay well fed. But wait, there is more. I'm thrilled to announce that our Patreon page has officially launched. If you've been enjoying our farming adventures and want to support the channel, now's your chance. Now let's get back to business and see how much wheat we'll have left over to feed our hungry chickens. There's work to be done, money to be made, and the farm is calling our name. Okay, so we're just around the corner from where we drop off the rest of this contract. Now, as you can see, we are 91% complete, and this is literally the final stop. Hopefully, we will have a decent reserve so we can keep our chickens well fed. Right, yo, in we go. Let's unload and be ready to stop it. Now, there we go. Okie dokie. So we have 3,604 litres of wheat left. Now, I think that might just be enough to fill our chicken coops. Um, because they were already full during the clucking adventure episode so we should have some left over even after depositing this okay so I will meet you back at the farm rightio so we are back at the farm and let's check to see just how much wheat we will have remaining after we've deposited as much as we can here. Yeah. So 1300 litres should be enough to feed them for an extra day or two, but we're going to need a little bit more than that. So let's quickly go and check the weather, number one. Um, as we can see, the, the weather is actually going to die off at 1pm. So let's see if there's any contracts which we can do. It's a nice swift £3,000 there. Uh, we have a fertilising contract, and you know me, I do love a good fertilising contract. Um, and we have a sorghum field, a wheat field, ooh, on field 19. That, I don't believe, I don't remember that being there um, yesterday, but it's here today. So, I think we are actually going to accept that. Um... But before we do, actually, I do have a small concern. So I purchased a small piece of farmland here, which has nothing planted on it. Okay, so I am going to resell that and get my money back, because I think that was a bad purchase. Uh, it would have been great if I could have bought that, but we cannot. Okay, so we'll just save the money for now. And we'll try and accumulate some more money ready for next episode. What we're going to do is, I know we've just accepted one contract, but I am going to accept this one as well because, well, yeah, we could do this with the equipment we already own and it's 11 grand and we'll probably have a nice leftover amount of wheat, which should last us the whole year. Okay, so let's accept that contract. So, first things first, we do have our fertilising contract and we have our harvesting contract. Now, I left the harvester over at the previous contract we did, so I'm just going to budge on over to there and move the harvester to the new farm, which is number 19. I did go for moving him though, but for some reason he didn't want to move. And I think it's because of where I am. I'm at the end of the field. So I'm going to get AI to drive this from here for me to the new plot. And I'll probably get the AI to get started on it whilst I go and fertilise the other field. So let's get you over there. And to be honest, we might actually be able to fertilise within the time it will probably take for me to get this harvester to field number 19. So let's quickly drop off our trailer, pick up our fertilizer, and then we will quickly go and do that fertilizing contract now. And we'll need to keep an eye out 
to check to see when he makes it to the farm, farm 19, so we can get him started straight away on the contract. Field 27 is just over here to the northwest, and yeah, I'll see you there. We are going to overlap with the harvester just now. Hi, Mr. Harvester. Have a great day. I'm going to go and fertilize whilst you make your way over to field 19. Now, I know that field 19 is quite a large field, so it is going to take quite a while to do. Now, I wouldn't mind buying another wheat farm, but there are none available. There are, but they are a little bit expensive, so I am not able to purchase them currently. But it's not the end of the world, so let's get this guy lined up. Is this the right one? Yeah, it must be. Okay, and how do I turn it on B? Okay. Now, as you can probably tell, I am currently using mouse and keyboard, and I usually use an Xbox controller, just because it's a comfortable controller to use. My controller is broken recently, so unfortunately, I am stuck with mouse and keyboard until I go to the shop and buy a new controller, which I will do in my own time, though. For now, though, I don't mind just using the mouse and keyboard, just to get by. Okay, so our harvester is still on his way to that spot. We are 62% completed on this contract. Oh, we didn't quite reach the end of that. I'm gonna say that it's okay. And hopefully we can just get away with doing a run this way. Let's get it 270 degrees. Come on, please, let me finish. No, not quite. Let's change the worker width. Uh, control Z multiple times. And we will use this now to complete the contract. Can we do it? There we go, it's done. Okay, let's save as much fertilizer as we possibly can. All right, so let's go back to, to our yard and pick up our trailer and drop off the fertilizer because we aren't going to need it oh it looks like they are being blocked by an object possibly so let's see what's going on here yeah and it's not quite an, the object i thought it would be because it's a lamppost okay i don't think they accounted for the lampposts when he started driving along here okay so that's the last one let's get him to finish off his job Right, so let's get back to the yard and pick up our trailer, which does have some wheat left over in it. So what I might actually do is go and take that to the grain mill at the train yard, just so then it doesn't get mixed in with the contract. Thinking about it as well, guys, it is currently raining, so it's probably best that we didn't harvest just yet. And we'll wait until 1 p.m., like I showed you earlier, where the weather is actually going to die off. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to wait until 1 p.m. before we start our harvesting because we don't want to waste any potential yield we might get from that contract. You know, it pays well. It's 11 grand. However, we're actually after the wheat over the money at the moment because the wheat will save us a lot of money. I am probably going to have to plant some wheat as well at some point. I'm not sure just when, but I would like to get some grass as well. And if we get some grass bales, we could potentially go even further into our husbandry and contemplate whether or not we should buy sheep next or not. Now, obviously, if we're going to do grass bales, it might be worth it. Okay, he's blocked again. Yes, there's a car there, okay? Go around him then. Stop wasting my money. But yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think we should invest in a sheep farm? And maybe even some cows? So guys, let me know down in the comments what you think I should purchase next. Now that we've sold that piece of land, what do you think we should do? 
should we get more land now one thing which i am going to put a restraint on is we are not going to do any field flipping uh, because i do feel like that is cheating slightly so there is going to be no field flipping in this series and probably in my future series i, I will probably avoid field flipping in general um, as good as it is because obviously you, you get your you get your money back for the land Plus you get what you've just farmed now That means you'd be able to make money really easily by just farming other people's land ignoring the contracts and You know flipping the field after you have harvested them So currently our field is all cultivated and planted so we don't have much work to do on our farm not until we purchase another piece of land right okay so it is currently half past nine I will see you when the weather dies off let's get harvesting okay so last episode I was talking about how the straw swath on contracts does just like it doesn't give you an option to bail on contracts someone mentioned that there is a mod which actually allows that but I just wanted to assure everyone that this series is vanilla only, okay? I'd love to add some mods in. I do love my mods, but this is my vanilla Let's Play series. So unfortunately, we can't do that. However, it would be great to be able to um, make that extra moolah off the hay bales, but I want to keep it as vanilla as possible so unfortunately that is not something we are going to do but thank you for the comment and the advice um, I do appreciate all of you um, all the likes have been getting all the comments in fact we reached 330 odd subscribers so fast it has been incomprehensible in all honesty it's it's fantastic to see this growth and I just want to thank you all for tuning into Fernie Farm because this does really help me and it does encourage me to get more content out for you guys. Now currently we are on a one episode a week schedule. Now that's not just one episode of this, this is that is one episode a week of either this or Grandpa's Farm. I will be alternating between the two. But also on Mondays I am doing a time lapse series. Uh, which I did pre-record ready for the 250 subscribers. But we hit that so fast. But I just didn't have time to edit it. So I figured I'd just release it anyway. Just as a bit of bonus content for, for you guys. I'm not sure how long it's going to be in terms of episodes. But currently we have a few episodes in the pipeline for that. All edited and already uploaded. So you can look forward to that on a Monday. And then obviously Thursdays is going to be alternating between Grandpa's Farm and my Starting From Scratch series. Okay, we have nearly filled up our first load. There we go. Let's switch to our tractor and let's fill them up. I made a bit of a boo-boo there. I didn't put my pipe out. So I'll just move the tractor out of the way because I do need to go horizontally across this field and get back to the harvesting. Okay, I think I'm going to do a headland pass. but I'm going to do it at a 90 degree angle just so then when I do decide to get the AI to do some work for me. We haven't got to mess around with these passes at the top. I feel like I'm going to regret this now in all honesty, <laughs> based on how big this field is.
we can fill up our trailer till it's full. There we go. And from here, we can go and sell. You need to slow down, boy. <laughs> Who's proper doing some man money? Now, at least we'll know just how many trailer loads we'll need to fulfill this contract. 17% transported. It's 20% of the actual contract completed, so 17%. So yeah, it will be six full trailers to get this complete. That's one down, five to go. And then whatever's left is ours for the taking. My harvester is probably close to having a full tank now as well. So I need to get myself back to that field as soon as possible. There you go, he has a full grain tank now. Right here, let's go and drop off our second load. There we go, 35% has been transported and we're approximately 40% through the contract too. Which is great to see.
Rightio, here's my third load. Let's go and drop this one off as well. This should bring us up to around a 50% mark. So that means we're about halfway done here. It's taking a lot longer than anticipated. Um, I think I might have overestimated just how long a field of that size would take to harvest as it's tipping. Okay, let's see just how much it will get us to. So that's 53%, okay. Okay, and I think this is our fourth load now. It's looking good. We nearly done the whole field, which is good to see. So yeah, it's seventy percent of the actual harvesting is done. And once I drop this off, based off us being at fifty-three percent from our last trip, it should take us up to around seventy percent. How much wheat do you think we will have left over from this contract? I'm going to estimate around 7,000 litres. I'm hoping for 7,000, but it's not guaranteed at the end of the day. 7,000 litres, on the other hand, would feed our chickens for quite some time. I've never known a contract to leave that much left over at the end, though, so I may be overestimating it here. Yeah, make sure you drop a comment with your guess on how many litres will be left over. There's 71%, so we're definitely going to be doing two more trips. So the final trip will only be for a very small amount. I'm going to have to wait for the train. I was going to risk it for a biscuit then, but it was literally momentarily after the crossing gates sort of dropped. So I probably would have been flattened by that there. So let's finish off this field and be sure to drop a comment on how many litres you think we will have remaining.
Okay, I think this is our fifth run now. So only one more run to go and we've still got quite a big chunk of the field left to harvest. So remember guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking in terms of how much wheat we're going to have remaining after this contract. Okay, now this should bring us up to around, I think, 87% or something. Maybe 88 or 89 we are 90% complete and 88% for field 19 so yeah we do have one more load to go and then everything else is ours There we go, he has finally finished his task. Let's get our tractor filled up. I'm just hoping I can fit the rest of this in here actually. I have just less than 3,000 litres capacity left. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so before I do anything else, I'm just going to get the AI to take the harvester to the petrol station because we are running very low on petrol okay let's go fulfill this contract and see just how much wheat is going to be left over for some reason i was driving on the wrong side of the road here in the uk though it's technically not the wrong side of the road so please forgive me i'll just realize this way is a long way we have twenty-two thousand liters of wheat so i'd love to know what you guys think I'm going to be left with. I'm even going to be able to get up here. Oh, I shouldn't have gone this way. I'll see you when I get there. Oh my god, I can't see. There's a branch in my tractor. Oh no, I'm stuck. Ugh, not only am I stuck, but the AI stuck too. Right, yo, now is the time. Okay, I'm saying... I'm saying around seven, eight thousand. Come on. Anything more as a bonus. Ooh. Whoa, 12,000. That's incredible. So was your guess close? We're going through the comments to figure out who got it the closest. But yes, we've got 12,000 litres of wheat. That's fantastic. So in total, we we are close to 14,000, which is more than enough to last us, hopefully, the rest of the year. Okay, we can fill up our petrol tank on our harvester because we are in the red. There we go, £610 just to fill up that tank. That's a lot. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this to... Should I take this to the silo? It's a good question. I think I am. I think I'm going to take this to the silo just so then it's not sat around inside of my trailer. I can always just go back and pick up some wheat whenever I need to feed my chickens. But at least now we're in a position where we've got extra wheat. And if I was to purchase this amount of wheat, for instance, it would probably cost me a good 10k, maybe even more than that. So I'm actually quite chuffed with the results here. Don't pull out. Ugh, what an idiot. Reminds me of British drivers, that does. No patience. Okay, let's overload the rest of this into here. So in total, we've got 13 and a half thousand litres, which is pretty damn good. Just curious when the best sell point is it's december however we're not going to be selling this obviously i was just curious in all honesty but thirteen and a half thousand liters i think that should be enough for a year um i'm hoping anyway rightio there we go and uh, let's turn our engine off and now we can actually go and fulfill our contracts so that's fifteen thousand pounds which is pretty darn good i think the next field we are gonna harvest is probably gonna be our own fields in all honesty so we can plant wheat next month so that might be a good shout however we need to figure out where we're gonna plant them now don't get me wrong i'd love to have it planted right next to where i am here so yeah, we're currently in a situation where field 40 and field 41 are both blank fields. I do want one or the other. Well, any of these in this area, because I'd like to own this area first. So you'll have to let me know in the comments whether I should get 39, 40, 41 or 42. Because I am a little bit unsure, just so you know, I can afford them all. And for prices, that one's 81,000, 141, 146,000, and 112. On that note, though, I am going to head to sleep. I'm going to wake up extra early tomorrow. And we made not much, just a thousand pounds from the sunlight, which isn't all that great. Now, we've planted on 39. What have we planted, actually? We've planted wheat. So. What do you think, guys? 39, 40, 41, or 42? Now that I've been asleep, I'm kind of edging towards 39. Because that does have wheat in it. So, now we have a new day, let's have a quick look at contracts. And see what new is out there. Okay, so we've got a small fertilising one here. Uh, which I will accept before it disappears. And then, these are all going to be potatoes or sorghum. Yep, we ain't going to be doing any weeding because we don't have a weeder. I'm not really interested in cultivating, especially this one. This is where we've just been and that is massive. So I don't really want to go and do any more contracts on that field. Okay, so we do have our fertilizing contract. I think what we're going to do is go and do that fertilizing contract quickly. So we've got 800 litres of fertiliser. I am just going to buy a bag's worth. Um, actually, I could probably get away with two of them. So let's do that. Yes, it's more than what the contract is worth. However, I'm hardly going to use any of this on that field anyway. It's just nice to have a bit of stock ready for when I do any other contracts in the future. So we are going over to field 12, which is... I think it's in the far left corner. Right, okie dokie. So I do need to move my harvester back to the farm at some point. But I am going to go and do this contract quickly. It should only take me a couple of minutes. So I will see you there. Okay, so it's just this little field here which needs doing. Wow, that is a tiny field, isn't it? I'm wondering if I could do it in one pass. Is it going to reach that far edge? No. There we go. Perfect. Right, let's head back to the farm. And 
well we'll just collect that money there so i'm going to wrap things up today folks thanks for joining us on this accelerating journey through the fields of fernie farm where we have harvested a ton of wheat and done a little bit of fertilizing for the locals but before we wrap up we've got a question for you which field do you think we should expand into next 39 40 41 or 42 my money's on 39 however i'd love to hear your input because that will shape the future of our farm so drop your suggestions in the comments below make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like the video until next time guys happy farming and let's keep the excitement growing together Bye-bye.